what's up guys welcome back to another video of the monthly favorite series this month i'm going to be sharing with you a couple of things that i found interesting and that i really enjoyed in the month of november so this month's favorites include a product a blog and an app so let's go so the very first thing that i wanted to share with you is a product which is the barna blue blocking screen glasses now i bought these glasses uh, to basically wear them while i am using the computer while i'm using uh, the uh, screens or any phone or any device that emits blue light that is why I bought these glasses because I noticed that I was getting headaches and I was my eyes were going all red uh, because I do read books and stuff on my uh, phone at night time I also spend a lot of time on my laptop and I was finding that I was getting a lot of adverse effects from the blue light that is uh, emitted from these devices my sleep was getting affected and as I said I was getting red eyes and I was getting headaches and so I decided to invest in some of these blue blocker glasses now these glasses go by many different names online and uh, they're in all sorts of different colors you've got like orange tinted ones you've got um, the clear ones but I decided to go for the Barna brand ones because uh, after doing a lot of research into these glasses I wanted some that had a clear frame I didn't want the orange tint the second reason why I went for the Barna branded glasses was because they allow you to incorporate your prescription into the glasses and a lot of the other uh, glasses that I saw out there didn't have that functionality and that was quite important to me because I do wear glasses as you can see I wear prescription glasses and so I wanted to incorporate my prescription into the screen glasses so that um, you know if I do want to wear them all day long I can do so. The other great thing about Barna was that they have loads of different designs online so you can go onto their website and they have so many different designs and that was a, an additional thing that was a really a, a big consideration for me because I like stuff that's naturally designed and I like the fact that Barna have uh, a very design centric focus when it comes to these screen glasses. I did see a lot of glasses uh, that were, you know, they did the function, they allowed you to sort of block blue light, but um, they just weren't very good looking. And when I looked online, Barna seemed to be the only company that had the really good design uh, glasses. So if you go on their website, you can see that they have a whole variety of different designs, really nice looking glasses. And the other thing that I like about the Barna glasses is that they are unisex. So you can actually go into the men's collection if you want to, uh, and you can buy uh, the, the men's collection ones. And I also like the various different colors that they have. I actually went for the clear ones because I wanted the clear frame. Um, and they were actually from the Williamsburg collection, which are actually the men's collection. But when I contacted Barna, they said that a lot of their glasses are pretty much unisex and you know they can be used by women or men. I'm just gonna wear these just to show you how they look. So these are my normal glasses and these are the Barna glasses. Uh, I can see immediately that uh, there's a change in the colors that I'm seeing through the glasses. Um, the blue light is very much uh, taken away and it's it, there's a slight tint to it, but it's not as much as many of the other glasses out there you know, where you get that harsh orange tint. Uh, I don't really like that and so that's why I went for these glasses. So why would you buy these glasses? Well, the number one reason why you buy them is because a lot of devices in our houses nowadays, uh, if you're working on the computer, if you're working on your laptop and you're doing a lot of screen-based stuff, then it's really important that you regulate the amount of light that you are taking in from your eyes. Now the blue light that is emitted from various different devices, uh, that can affect the circadian rhythm and it can affect your sleep cycle. And for a lot of people, it can really affect the way that they sleep and the quality of the sleep that they get. So that's why if you are like me and you work on the computer pretty much most of the day, and even at nighttime, I use the Kindle app uh, on my phone to read through books and that kind of stuff. So um, for me, it's really important to make sure that I'm not causing any issues with my sleep cycle because I do understand that sleep is extremely important. I've been using these glasses regularly and I have noticed uh, a big decrease in the headaches that I've been getting and also uh, my eyes are much more healthier. Uh, they're not as red as they usually were. So yes, I have noticed an improvement in these things and so I'm gonna continue wearing these glasses for any screen-based tasks that I'm doing. So uh, if you are getting headaches or if you do do a lot of screen-based work, then do consider investing in some uh, blue blocking screen glasses. So the second thing that I have on my monthly favorites for this month is a blog that I rediscovered this month, which is The Art of Nonconformity by Chris Guillebeau. Now I'm cheating a little bit here because I actually found this blog back in, I believe it was 2013 or 14, uh, when I had read The 4-Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss and I started looking into lifestyle design and making money online and doing
doing side hustles and all that kind of stuff. And I loved reading about how Chris was actually traveling the world and wanting to visit every country in the world. And that was really inspiring to me at the time. I was like, this is amazing. I would love to do that. I would love to travel uh, to every country and see every country in the world. And he was actually doing it. So at the time, I remember binge reading his blog, just reading about all the adventures that he's had. And there's a lot of things that he talks about on there about travel hacking and that kind of stuff. So in November, I rediscovered his blog and since the last time I dived deep into his blog, he has actually moved on over to topics such as entrepreneurship, uh, side hustles, making money online, uh, and just being a non-conformist. So many of the ideas that he shares on his blog are extremely inspiring, and I just loved reading and getting back into his blog in November. Um, a lot of the things that he shares do resonate with what I'm trying to achieve and uh, what I'm trying to create in my life. So it was great to dive back into the blog. In addition to that, Chris also is a really good writer. I do have many of his books, including uh, Side Hustle and this one as well, which is the $100 Startup. Both of these are brilliant books. As you can see, I have literally highlighted all of this. And uh, yeah, so he is a great writer as well. I believe he's written a new book called The Money Tree, which talks about uh, unconventional ways to make money. He also has a podcast and every year he also runs a summit which basically brings unconventional people together, people who are creatives, who are doing um, all sorts of amazing things in their lives. Uh, he brings them together and basically creates a amazing space uh, to collaborate with like-minded people. I'll include a link down below, you can go check it out. It's called The Art of Nonconformity, or you can just type in Chris Gillibo into Google and you'll be able to find it. The final thing I have for you in this month's monthly favorites is a note-taking app called Notion. Oh my god, this app is changing my life. Now, I know that's a big statement, but it is. It's such an amazing app. And the reason why I really, really love this app and I'm really enjoying using this app is because finally I've found something where I can collate all my thoughts, all my ideas, all my content, every single thing that I think or every single thing that I take from books, from articles, blogs, all that kind of stuff and put it into one place where I can basically dip in and out whenever I need the information. I'm already getting so many ideas that I can create with this app. I can organize my life, I can organize my business, I can organize YouTube, I can organize all sorts of things. Uh, I can even organize my health pursuits, anything I can have all in one place. And the great thing is that it's on all devices. So I've got it on my laptop, I've got it on my phone, and you know, already I've created so many different things in there, uh, and I'm sure there'll be many more. I'll probably have like a whole life wiki in there where I, everything to do with me is in that place. In, in one place and so I'm really looking forward to delving into Notion a bit more. Um, I'll probably be doing like a full review but I wanted to share it on this video because I am really enjoying the Notion app. It's so nice and clean, um, everything has its place, you can create databases, you can connect things to each other um, and it's just basically like having a second brain, uh, just having it on the computer. So uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to delving deeper into Notion and creating much more amazing templates and calendars and you know, um, I'm even looking at taking my journal, which I've been very protective of. Um, I've always had a paper journal. I've always had a book version of my journal. Now that I've found Notion, I can just see myself taking all of the step-by-step -step processes that I do with goal setting and that I have in my journal, my perfect day exercise, all those things I can just transfer them onto Notion and I can just see that working. So yeah, as I said, obviously I'm still delving deeper into Notion. I haven't uh, figured out how I can take everything on there just yet. I might need to do some more research, but yeah, so far I'm really loving the app and if you haven't checked it out, uh, do have a look. I will include a link down below. You can go check it out. That's all for November's monthly favorites. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do consider hitting the like button. It really helps us out and it really helps the algorithm uh, and I would really appreciate it. So uh, yeah, do hit that like button and also comment below if you've tried any of the things that I mentioned in this video. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.